When you focus on the breath, try to be a connoisseur of the breath, the sort of person who has a refined palate, you can settle <coughs> and sense subtle differences in the right breathing. You can also know when you're pushing it too hard, when you're not pushing it enough, what exactly is just right. We're going to breathe in and out in a way that gives rise to a sense of lightness, both physical lightness and lightness of mind. The Pali terms, gaya lahuta, citta lahuta. As John Fung once commented, they say in the commentaries that breath meditation is appropriate for everybody. But he said, it's not the case. If you really want to get the most out of it, you have to be very refined in your powers of observation. So ask yourself, what would really feel good right now? Which is the most demanding part of your mind in terms of a really refined pleasure? And get that part watching over the breath, sensitive to when it's too long, when it's too short, and exactly what amount of pressure is it appropriate to apply, so that you can stay here solidly based, yet there's no feeling of heaviness. If we could just push our way into nirvana, again, as John Fung said, everybody would have been there a long time ago. You have to be very careful in how you observe things. That principle that you commit yourself and then you reflect deserves repeating over and over again. Some people just go through the motions and then they're upset that the results aren't coming out the way they want. Well, you have to adjust things, and the reflection is what allows you to adjust. It's in this way that you become more refined in your powers of observation, and it's how your discernment gets developed. Your discernment could be developed just by pushing in one direction. Awakening would be easy. But remember, it's a middle path, and finding the right spot in the middle requires lots of observation. You have to get more and more refined in how you observe things. Think of the image of the lute, how much effort is too much, how much effort is too little. You figure out what you're capable of and tune everything else to that to make sure your lute doesn't get out of tune. It requires constant adjustment, otherwise the strings start to go lax. Either that or you tighten things up too hard. It becomes really unpleasant to be in the present moment and the mind will find all kinds of reasons to go someplace else. But if you're really discerning and get that sense of just right, the breath really does become absorbing because it's filling your whole body, your whole range of awareness with a sense of well-being. And it's hard not to want to stay there when it's that good. So remind yourself, it can get that good. But how are you going to get it that good? Well, you have to be very refined in your powers of observation. Fine-tune things as much as you can. The part of the mind knows, okay, this is just right. Then you maintain that just rightness as long as you can. Your powers of concentration grow stronger. Your discernment grows sharper and more refined without you having to think about Things like impermanence or inconstancy, stress, and not self. You do gain some understandings into cause and effect, what's appropriate, what's not appropriate, what's useful, what's not useful. In this way, the practice becomes your own.